Hey guys, it's Jessica here, and this video was requested by a few people who are interested to know what my daily oral hydrating routine is. So stay tuned to keep watching me brush my retainer against some soothing background music. So I have a Holly retainer with a flipper attached because I'm missing a front tooth, but this kind of routine can apply to an SS retainer as well. And you can just start by brushing with a bit of toothpaste, any kind is fine, as long as it doesn't scratch up your retainer. Just go in circular motions and make sure to cover top and bottom. Really try to get in between the ridges and the space between the tooth and the acrylic, because that's where a lot of gunk collects most of the time. This next step, I go in with an interdental pick, aka a tiny Christmas tree, which is really great for getting the fine details or anything your toothbrush might have missed, especially around the size of the tooth. Of course, we can't forget about the bottom retainer. We're just doing the same two steps that I mentioned previously. This is a bit more straightforward because there's nothing attached to it. Now I have a 3 month supply of this stuff, but I really use it when I need some extra cleaning power. I got it from an orthodontist, but you can also get it online. It's basically a pill that kills 99% of odor causing bacteria and it removes discoloration. I fill a small cup with enough lukewarm water to cover my retainer, drop the pill in, and just kind of walk away. In the meantime, I'm usually doing other tasks like flossing my teeth or even having lunch or getting ready. And excuse my gums and my chapped lips. I had a bone graft here about four months ago. So the site I'm pointing to is where you want to focus on because that's where a lot of plaque and tartar really builds up since it's exposed. Just wanted to give an honorable mention to the Packers Orthopic. I think it was such a great product when I had braces. There's this skinny end that fits between your wires, so it saves a ton of time to floss. Um, I did a little review on it, it's a bit cringy, but you can watch it and know how great it is up there. Along with brushing and flossing and everything else mentioned in this video, it's important to massage your gums so they're stimulated and healthy. In about 15 or so minutes, you'll know it's done when the water is clear. Give it a rinse and you can use it like normal. And I know I have a shaved down flipper, but that's because of the bone graft. It's just something I had to deal with for another month or so. Anyways, I hope this video was somewhat useful to you. Subscribe if you want to come along on the journey and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!